Hey guys, so yeah, so this is me again, and this is a performance review on the Nike Shocks BB4 Olympics. So basically, a few months ago, or about a month ago, I did a unboxing of these. Um, um, and yeah, so this is, I'm going to be talking about the performance of the shoe. I've, I've worn it at a basketball game for about, I don't know, like five or six times already. And yeah, so let's get right to it. So I'm going to be discussing a few points here and there, like cushioning, uh, aesthetics, you know, performance, meaning um, traction. So whatever it is, that's... Um, important for me on playing basketball so yeah so I'm gonna show you a clip of also the game and just just a disclaimer I'm not really good at you know uh, playing basketball but I do love it it's just that unfortunately basketball doesn't love me back so yeah so I'm gonna be showing you a clip while discussing to you guys the performance of this sh specific shoe right here So that's an Ikershox PB4. Alright, so the first thing that I'll be discussing is all about traction of the shoe. So yeah, so as you can see, I'm sometimes I'm slipping in there. And I'm gonna show you what the Nike used for its traction. So as you can see, on the forefoot, they used hair road pattern. But on the heel part of it, there's a... Uh, uh, I don't know what that is, so sometimes the heel part of the shoe slips a lot. So for me, I'm going to be only rating it 6 out of 10 for traction. So before we shoot some hoops, we do some dancing to warm up. And, bef and of course, I'm going to be taking the first shot. And it didn't count unfortunately. So yeah, so traction for me would have been better. Um, and like what I've said, I've used it a lot of times on different conditions. Like for example, I've used it uh, on cements. I've also used it like what you see in there. That is a uh, wooden court. Um, and I've also used it. I, th I think it's a rubberized, uh, rubberized court. Uh, but any conditions. Um, even if it is you know clean court sometimes you still be slipping so you need to wipe it off a little bit uh, once in a while um, yeah so for me traction is not really that great so the next feature that I would like to discuss is about cushioning so before I do discuss about that let me just show you some of the clips of the basketball game we had PSD. So as you can see, I'm going to be laying it up in there. And yeah, so that's good for two points again. The next part of the review is about cushioning. So the type of cushioning they used for this shoe is the Shox technology. So uh, it is one of its kind when it was released back in the 2000s and basically what uh, what shocks does is it acts like impact absorption whenever you're jumping and it also gives you a little bit of bounce before you jump that is something that I couldn't feel when I was playing uh, playing on it and um, basically if I'm gonna be rating the cushioning for the Nike Shocks BB4, it's going to be somewhere around 7 out of 10. Uh, it gets the job done, but it would have been better. So, yeah, so I'm just showing you some of the clips while I was playing basketball. If, if you'll notice, I was already hot in there, shooting some threes. And, uh, yeah, it, it just goes in. And so. I love playing basketball, it's just that sometimes basketball doesn't like me. Um, like what I've said, I am okay playing with it. I'm not really that good, but I just 
basically love it. So, as you can see there, uh, fast break. Uh, who's on the break in there? It's me. So, lays it up and good for two again. Now let's go to the materials. I really love the materials that has been used on this shoe. So you, as you can see there's suede or nubuck in there and also synthetic uh, leather uh, on the most part of the shoe. And on the tongue they've used um, a mesh for uh, breathability. So when it comes to the materials I'm gonna be rating it around a 9 out of 10. I love it. Um, yeah, so that is something I'm really satisfied. So before we get to the next point, I'm gonna be uh, sh just showing you some clips of my jump shot in there which didn't count. So unfortunately, but I'm just gonna show you some of the clips when we're playing basketball. So as you can see, that's my friend Tom dribbling the ball, uh, crossover, pass it aside. And it got stolen. It was a. Uh, and um, yeah, it was stolen again by Jeremy. So that guy is Jeremy is dribbling the ball. And I just show you the clip because it was a 360 jump shot. So that's a good shot by Jeremy in there. So yeah, so this is Tom. Just a three, no good. You're buying by yours truly. And pull up a three to win the game. So yeah, so as you can see, that was a game-winning three by yours truly. And my name is Jonas. For the fit and support, for me it is true to size. If you, I'm wearing size 10, and this shoe right there is also size 10. Although if you guys are wearing. Um, ankle support or stuff like those I would advise you to go a size up so for the fit and the support I liked the, the support that they Nike used on the heel part of it you, as you can see I've showed you earlier they have like uh, a plastic tab at the back of the heel for better support and protection um, when it comes to lockdown, I, I actually thought that this is a uh, high top shoe, but when you wear them, it's kind of like a mid or low tops because uh, you can see your ankles um, um, for the most part of it. Probably because I'm wearing ankle support, so probably that's the reason why. But I um, I feels like I'm wearing a low top shoe whenever I play hoop in them so yeah so we're just gonna continue I'm just gonna continue showing you some of my highlights so this is just my highlights you know we played for almost two hours in there I'm just gonna show you one you know, of those baskets of baskets I've made uh, during the game for the overall look I think it's really dope when it was released back in 2000. I think it is really futuristic in nature. I've never seen something like that before. So for me, it is really iconic. And having Vince Carter um, wearing it or modeling it, you know, adds value to it for me because I'm a huge uh, Vince Carter fan. So. So overall for me, the Nike Shox BB4 when it comes to performance gets the job done. It has an okay traction, an okay cushioning, awesome materials, um, awesome fit too, awesome support. And I, and I just love Nike Shox BB4. I wear it on the court, I wear it casually. It looks good casually too, so um, for, for me it is worth it. And uh, I, I can't remember how much I bought these for, but but um, it is uh, it is for me it's really worth it buying worth buying it. So yeah, so this is I think I'm gonna be um, ending the performance review of a Nike Shox BB4, and I hope you guys liked it. And uh, this game is almost over. And 
yes I really hope you liked it please like the video subscribe and yeah hopefully we could show you I could show you more performance review um, on basketball shoes in the future thanks guys